Mike Donald Morris and Cheryl Hart were identified as the pedestrians that were struck on the sidewalk when the car crash happened. Those who were familiar with Don Morris say he was not only a great public servant of the community, but also a wonderful musician as well. After 12 years of serving on the Terre Haute City Council, Donald Morris became a Vigo County Councilman in November. Those who knew Morris, including Tracy Richardson, who was a member of the Don Morris Band from 1983 to 1988, says she is still trying to process the fact that he is no longer here. Shock, disbelief. Um, I'm still in shock. I, it just doesn't seem real when somebody you know passes away. And we all know it can happen at any moment. Right, you know, but it just doesn't, it doesn't seem real. Chris Schweitzer, Vigo County Commissioner for the 2nd District, says he was introduced to Morris at a very young age. Morris had his foot in music for the last 30 years, and for his musical efforts, he was recognized and inducted into the Wabash Valley Musicians Hall of Fame in 2006. The first time I ever met him, I was four years old at a wedding reception at the Boston Connection, and that's, that's a long time ago, but uh, I even asked him for his autograph because he was seeing Garth Brooks at the time. Uh, he was a tremendous uh, musician. In her five years of playing with Morris, Richardson says whether he was playing for five people or 5,000, he always brought high energy. When George Strait or Randy Travis or John Conley, those folks came through town, they had their own opening act, but we also got to open for the opening act. Um, so, you know, we would play for like 8,000 people. And Schweitzer adds, as a public servant, Morris always put his community first. Don always made a decision out of the best interest of the community and um, you know he'll he'll be sorely missed so uh, he'll be remembered forever. Richardson and Schweitzer both say that Morris was always a man of the people and carried himself in such a manner.